<laughs> Adventure, they say, is where you find it. Whether it lies just down the street in familiar territory, or at the far end of the road where civilization ends and wilderness begins. Get in there! That's a photo if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Woo! Look at that! <laughs> Some folks prefer their adventure in small doses, focusing their angling efforts and interests on a fairly local level. Others excite in full-blown expeditions to the far ends of the earth, where each new destination, body of water, and cast reveals exciting new aspects of nature's wonders. Near or far, each type of trip offers a chance to experience something new and different along the way. One thing's for sure, those who dare to step out of their comfort zone are destined to learn from their efforts, while those who play it safe may never achieve their full potential. Bueno. Today, on The Edge, we break tradition by targeting whitefish, an untapped, underappreciated, yet hard-fighting fish species that few anglers pursue. Then, we journey to Hawk Lake in northwestern Ontario in pursuit of some of the largest walleyes that swim. Every adventure begins with its first step, and depending upon how far you want to go, hidden treasures lie just beyond the angling horizon. Oh, that's Another a big jump. one. That's Another a jump. big fish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is a giant <laughs> fish. <laughs> giant. Ah. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. For over 65 years, Lund has had an unwavering commitment to build the finest fishing boats on the water. 65 years of dedication, innovation, passion. Lund boats stand up to the elements and the use hardcore anglers put them through season after season. Built by fishermen for fishermen. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 imaging, only from Amundur. 
Closed captioning provided by Freebill. All right, we're all plugged in. We're all clean and dry. We're doing our part to help stop the spread of invasive species, in this case, zebra mussels in our area, and it's impacting many, many bodies of water all over the country. Uh, today, Dave and I are kind of looking forward to this adventure. I'm going to call it an <laughs> adventure. adventure. That's good. That's We're good. in our office this morning, and, and our buddy Bob Backler, one of the guys we work with, was out on this lake pre-fishing for a tournament that he's got coming up in a couple of days from now. And, uh, well, I'd have to say that in his pre-fishing, he had a pleasant surprise. Would that be the right word? Yeah. You know, people often ask me, what's your favorite fish? I say whatever is biting. And in this case, it may just be a surprise. <laughs> Let's go do it, man. What do you think? Let's see what we got. <laughs> Biting pretty good. Did you just woke him up, man. You just woke him up. I know enough that I got to get a net for him. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sizable fish. Yeah, oh, nice one. According to Bob, it's just a medium one. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Look. Well, look at that. Oh, look at that. It came off in the net. Now you got to get a handle on it. Now that we got it, what the heck is it? <laughs> you know, you... <laughs> and that is what we call up north a whitefish. It's a pretty good hard fighting fish and you know what almost nobody fishes for them that's why nobody catches them. We've got a few secrets here for you today to see how to go catch these hard fighting fish. These things are so incredibly powerful you know and you just got to take it easy with them or you'll tear a bunch of them off. Man they're fun. They are really really fun. You know ever since we started fishing these reaction baits, the snap wrap and initially with the jig and wrap for walleye some years ago. We've been getting into more and more and more of, of, of these fish and we'd get an occasional white fish here or an occasional white fish there. In the lakes we fish up north here, these cool water lakes, there's a lot of white fish in them. There's a lot of fish in them. You know and we initially thought that it was you know it'd be a freak fish but it's happened more and more and more regular and now it's actually even a, it's programmable you can get on them and fish them and catch catch lots and lots of them initially when we would lose one we thought it was a big walleye and we lost a big walleye and it was one of these things that, that you know they're shaking their head like crazy and they get big you know they get big Man, are these things fun? They're so much fun. There he is. Nice fish. And he ain't even a giant, Dave. He ain't even a giant. There he is. Oh, perfect. Nice perfect. Oh, they're still got. There she goes. Your buddy's going to have a good time smoking these now. You get some, I get some, and Bob behind the camera, he gets some smoke too, because he there found she goes. them all. It's not a smoked white fish, it's a smoking white fish. <laughs> Look at that. On a spinning rod? What do we got here, Al? About eight, eight pound test? Yeah, it's eight pound mono, and that's important to stress, Dave. Yeah, you got some stretch in this line. To cushion that a little bit so we don't rip the hooks out. Now, that one we actually drifted out a little bit deeper. I wasn't planning on getting one there while you were talking, but. Shows that they roam this entire deep water zone out here. Now he's going back the other way. Man, oh man, did they fight. <laughs> that fish is beating him like a Salvation Army drum, I'm telling you. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> while you do actually catch You'll catch incidental walleyes doing this. These things do not fight like a walleye. <laughs> it's a bit of a difference. That one even broke water for you. There you go. Come here, baby. Ooh, there you go. Whew. There's another one, Chief. Another one. Look at that. You don't want them jumping around while I got the hook in there. 
Nice fish. Strong fish. You're going to need a bigger live well, Al. Lake whitefish are present in the northern states, the Great Lakes, and throughout most of Canada, where they are commercially harvested in large numbers. They are what we would term a cold or cool water fish that is really popular with ice fishermen. But when the ice goes off the lakes, many anglers give up on these ghost fish, thinking they are too hard to track because of their mysterious nomadic lifestyle. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. First off, pick a body of water that has a good population of whiteies. State and provincial websites typically showcase their fisheries or conservation departments, including lake-by-lake -lake information on fish populations. Where whitefish are present in good numbers, give them a try. Next, you need good electronics that feature accurate lake maps, down imaging, and side imaging. Be prepared to do a lot of driving around and looking for fish before wetting a line. In early to midsummer, whitefish often remain quite deep, including below the summer thermocline. But in late summer, they may move shallower, two obvious structures rimming or lying within the main basin. Take a look at this map. Here are a few spots to start your late summer whitefish recon. Distinctive points jutting out from shore. Humps surrounded by deep water. Narrow neck downs between islands with deep water nearby. Before fishing them though, scan these areas for signs of life. On your electronics, whitefish appear as groups of fairly large fish which are easily mistaken for walleyes. That's the bait, look at him. That's one or two of them down there, I'm gonna catch him. You won't know for sure what species are present until you try catching them. There he is. There's too many of them there. You can get a double on this one, Dave. <laughs> I want this fish. I'm not going to horse this one. <laughs> you going to behave yourself? I'm going to behave myself. I seen right where they're living. Whitefish have small, exceedingly soft mouths and tend to respond best to small baits and lures. There you go. Take a look at that mouth structure. During winter, ice fishermen typically use tiny jigs or spoons for whiteies, tantalizing and teasing them into biting. Drop shot tactics with miniature soft baits may also do the trick. Okay, there, I got him, Dan. We gotta switch here. While these tactics may also work in summer, Fishing miniature baits in deep, open water can be challenging, especially in windy conditions. Heavy lures like number six snap wraps and number five jigging wraps, however, are easy to jig vertically in the depths. Aggressive jigging imparts an irregular darting motion to the lure that drives whitefish crazy. When you mark them on your depth finder, so many guys think they're fishing walleyes. I can't get a bite, I know they're there, and they're dragging red tails and leeches and crawlers through them. And look at them, they're big fish and they keep coming back. They're whitefish, big pods of whitefish. Drop a camera, you see them. Down you think you're fishing walleyes, you're fishing whiteies. Look at them, look at them bubble, Dave, like lake trout. Yeah, they can, they can yeah, expel my, that, expel that air. Uh, look, look, just hold them like that, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna roll that hook right out of them. Hey, come here, baby. Roll that hook out. I hear, I hear them. <laughs> I can't tell you how much fun these things are. I mean, if it looks like we're having a ball, it's because we are. Learn to target the largest fish that swim. Finding big fish cuts through the myths and misconceptions, maximizing your odds for big fish success. It's part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com. Really? You're seriously just gonna leave me in here? Yeah, I'm fishing deep today, Ike. Are you kidding me? 
These are perfect additions for pulling big bass out of heavy cover. Yeah? Heck yeah! Try one of these weedless wacky jigs. All right, yeah. It, it has an offset hook and stainless steel weed guard. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Ike. Flip it in there, and it's wacky action. We'll have you pulling out one fat bass after another. Please! I can't say anything. Suffolk Safe 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk's 832. Always use the best line. And there she is. My first Mercury. 154 stroke, the lightweight heavyweight. And she comes with all this. Say hi to Wendy from customer support. She's always there to help. Jerry from product testing, he dishes out the torture. They can take it. Good. And Tim from design, he never misses a detail. Obsessed with quality. Bobby, prop engineer, he turns horsepower into performance. This is George. From it's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. You're going to need to pick a boat. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. That's... I do, yep, yeah. I do. There we go. Yeah. Smallmouth, I think. Pike. What do we got here? Nice walleye, Al. Uh, big or nice? It's a nice, nice walleye. Nice, nice walleye. Up a little one. shallower Absolutely this morning. Absolutely a nettable one, for sure. There we go. Oh, Look at how yeah, pretty, pretty that fish, fish. is. Ooh, this man, is nice real fish. clear water we're yeah, fishing nice right now. Fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, he's not that monster yet, but no, but that's a nice one. Yeah, that's we'll a good start for to a day. start in the morning. Heck yeah! <laughs> oh, look at the smallmouth with him. He's oh, yeah, there's a smallie the small with him. Yeah. How crazy is that? I should grab that? my other rod, but I ain't that mad at the smallmouth. <laughs> look at it. That's pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. That's amazing. Yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 you need another net, man. <laughs> He's kind of, he kind of, the hook kind of popped into a funky position. I man. just seen it. Yeah. There you go. Good yeah. job, sir. I'm going to give this fish to you and That's I'm going to get out of your fish, way yeah. and I'm going to start this. snapping. We can see the build on this fish, though. He's really got the, got the potential for something, something oh, really good. These fish care, are carrying a lot of weight yeah. here. Let me get a flyer Let's for you. Nice start to the morning. Look at that beautiful golden Canadian walleye, and that's what Al and I are doing. We're playing around up in Ontario's beautiful sunset country up here in the north northwest part of Ontario, chasing trophy walleyes. This is the start to the day. This isn't a true trophy, but it's a nice fish. And these Canadian lakes offer some of the finest action for big walleyes. And that's what we're going to do today is hopefully get a number a fish even bigger than this, look at that. Trophy hunters are a different breed. They will bypass a sure thing for a shot at the title. There's something endearing about the sacrifice these individuals will endure for the opportunity to strike it big. It's reminiscent of the old gold miners where they would pack up their families, travel thousands of miles for a dream. Well, modern trophy hunting anglers are no different. They'll go to the ends of the earth if it means they've got a shot to catch the fish of a lifetime. Well, today, so we're at the end of the rainbow oh, for trophy oh, walleye yeah. hunters. Oh, wow! Yeah. Holy cow! I can't believe you can lift that, Dan. It's Hawk Lake in Northwest Ontario. This is arguably one of the best big walleye fisheries in the world. Got him. Good. Yeah. That looks good. good. Fish. Pretty good fish, Jared. Real good. You can't quite tell what we got here. The feels the, good. Uh, big walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. Man. Yeah, uh -huh. big walleye. Huh? That's, like that. that's, that's, that's what we're looking that's for. That's what we're looking oh, for. Yeah. Middle nice, of the day. Nice walleye. Yeah. yeah, middle of the day. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this, this is the kind these boys talk about here. I got a pretty good look at her. Really nice fish. Thunk it pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good okay. the jig. 
You know, this partic particular lake up here at Hawk, they got a 37 incher out of here. They've got big, giant walleyes in here. But like a lot of these lakes, like this, you don't have a lot of them. But when you get them this size, it's worth it. <laughs> it's you know, trophy hunting. It's like big buck hunting. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. Oh, man, nice fish. This thing is kicking your butt. Yeah. Oh, she's got some energy. These fish are just thick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, yeah. Got her? Got her. Oh, oh, oh wow, what right. a sow. That is huh? a giant. Oh, that is this, a baby. giant. Hang on. Hang Holy on. cow, Al. Ah. Oh, uh, oh, oh, hang on. Okay. Hang on. I got her. Barb, go in. I got okay. her. I got okay. her. Okay. Wow. Oh, what, what do you see this, baby? This is a giant. Uh, how's that for a walleye, huh? Oh, man, man, that, that, that sucker was beating me like a drum. Yeah, this lake we're fishing right now is one of the lakes, like many in Canada, that don't have a map, a Lake Master map, and we spend a lot of time fishing lakes that, of course, have maps, and you get so used to being able to find the spots real easy, just look at it, and they're there. But there's a new technology coming out for something like six or eight million lakes in Canada and two million lakes in the United States that will change the way you fish in our uncharted waters. Let me show you what it is. The technology I'm referring to is AutoChart. This is every fisherman's dream that fishes uncharted waters. Humminbird AutoChart lets you create contours on any lake in three simple steps. Just record your track onto the AutoChart Zero Lines SD card, then convert your custom survey into a map with AutoChart PC software, and finally export your map onto the Zero Lines SD card to display on your Hummingbird. So if you want to get a map of the whole lake, you can crisscross it or just record a track on a specific spot to get more detail of what's below. And the maps you create have the same great features like depth highlight, shallow water highlight, and water level offset. It's truly a revolutionary tool in fishing. Jerry, this is I'm loving it. <laughs> a couple fish right on this point. And you get real excited because you don't know what it's going to be. It's, good. it's unbelievable how many big fish you can catch on this lake. I mean, you're a trophy hunter, but you want a walleye? That is a wall hanger, but you can't keep them here. You got to put them back anyway. But you can get a mount on them. Fish of a lifetime. There you go, way. Al. Yeah, I see her. I see her coming. I'm, I'm ready. Boy, man. these things are tough. Too. I know it. I know them, man. I know what quit. you're talking about. <laughs> oh, that's Another a big jumbo. one. Another that's a jumbo. big yeah. fish. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is a giant <laughs> fish. <laughs> giant. Uh, here you go. Come on, oh. would you whip that sucker in here? What are you doing, man? <laughs> should, I just, should I flip him in like a bass, <laughs> like we're large like fishing? Yeah, get him in, yeah. get him in here to me. Oh. There we go. There's oh, yeah. fish there. Another, another. Oh, Look God. how fat this thing is. Another super tanker. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, would you look at that? Wow. <laughs> Run real. Unreal. Okay. Uh, Got it, huh? Uh, wow. 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 Hey. You want to make your dreams come true, this is where to do it. I'm telling you what, unbelievable fishery. Unbelievable. Hawk Lake in Northwest Ontario produces some big, 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 big walleyes. Look at that, huh? If you'd like to know more about fishing and vacation opportunities in Northwest Ontario, log on to northwestontario.com. Northwest Ontario, there's no place like this. Are you finding it harder and harder to spend time with your family? All you need is the right place to reconnect. <laughs> Big walleye, Dad. Northwest Ontario, your place to reconnect.
Why take chances with your engines? Protect them from neglect, wear, and tear the easy way with Seafoam Motor Treatment. Seafoam helps to maintain top engine performance by removing harmful deposit buildup from your engine and fuel system. Control moisture and gas and diesel. Stabilize fuel for up to two years and lubricate your engines to start easier, run cooler, and last longer. Trust all your engines to Seafoam Motor Treatment, the choice of mechanics for over 70 years. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. You know, every year I get numerous invites to come to this or that church in this part of the country, uh, uh, usually to do a, a seminar, a little bit talk about fishing and share my faith. Uh, some of these churches are very large denominational churches. Some of them are much smaller, interdenominational, non-denominational, and some just strictly independent. Some have thousands of people that I spoke to. Some are just uh, 150 or 100 people at a time. And uh, uh, as I travel the country or speak at a fellowship like this, I always enjoy, if I get an opportunity, to go to a church while I'm out on the road. Uh, it's fascinating to me to see how God uses people in different parts of the world to get his work done. Uh, two churches that come into mind over the years that really are a little bit different than the traditional church. Uh, one of them years ago was in San Diego when Troy was little. It was called Set Free. And uh, uh, the, the pastor was a biker. They had a, a, skate, a skateboard ministry going on. When I came in there, it was a large uh, a warehouse filled with bleachers. And I mean, there's motorcycles all over the place. The guys that set you, the usher, ushers weighed 280 pounds and looked like they'd been pumping iron on a regular basis. Really bad looking dudes. And you look at the back of their vest and it says, Jesus loves you. <laughs> I mean, things like this. I love the thing. It was just an on fire church. Another one was in LA. It's called the Oasis. And uh, uh, the pastor's wife there is, is an actress. And many of the people involved in Oasis are involved in, in Hollywood in the motion picture industry. And I happened to be there for a, uh, a Christmas play. You want to talk about talent at a church Christmas play? When you've seen something like this, you walked out of there going, wow. So, yeah, you know, I just wanted to share with you, God's got his people all over the place doing his work for them. You get a chance, sometime you're on the road, you get a chance to visit a little different church, a little different fellowship than maybe you're used to. Sometimes it could really be eye-opening. Hey, from all of us here at the Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.